Welcome to RBO. Today, guys, we're going to be opening and unboxing the Fire Meeple. Uh, this is a Jet Boil knockoff through Amazon. I believe this was $45. And yeah, I'm uh, just going to open it up, and see what it looks like, see the quality of the stuff. We're not going to be trying it out today, but um, in the next couple videos, I will be trying it out and using it. Let's get into it. Um, specifications. You can see pretty much everything there if you want to read through all that. It takes butane and protein or propane mixture. So these little camping cans. Fast boiling. Supposedly it boils a liter of water in three minutes. You got your lid, you got your bowl, you got your igniter, flame regulator, insulated pot cover, heat exchanger, and handle. And they got going on here. Okay. Okay. Well, that new gear smell. And that's everything in there. Okay. So this was in the bottom. Got your instruction manual. I'm using closed areas. Do not assemble or modify the stove. I did see someone comment about modifying the stove to use because they wanted to use the jet boil coffee drip. Sorry for all that debris. Let's see what we got going on here. So you got a nice, thick, good quality bag. Like this is the highest quality net bag I have. I have quite a few from different mess kits and whatnot. And this is very thick. It will hold up. It also has a nice fastener or tightening uh, point here. And then you got your fire maple emblem right there. This thing actually looks really cool. Um, so you have your sleeve to make sure you don't get burned. You also have rubberized handles to diminish any kind of heat reduction or to provide heat reduction. Use outdoors only. It's a little tag here. Pretty sure it is probably just pop. Oh, it's a little keychain. I'm gonna pop it off in a second. Then you also have a lid, which I don't know how fire or heat resistant this is, but that's cool. And it also has a steam uh, vent as well. It also has a little lip thing where you can attach something as you needed to. Next, we have some seals for our igniter. So it got goes down there. I don't know if it has it or regularly check. Okay, regularly regularly check the O-ring, the bottom of the valve. And replace it with the o-ring in the, in the maintenance kit if it is damaged so there is one right now but they give you two additional o-rings and o-rings like this you can easily get at the hardware store if you need backups so what if you used one i would take the spare one that you have that's not used yet go to the hardware store and just get a couple o-rings either that or anywhere in like just go to the power washing section you probably find o-rings <clears throat> here we have a bowl it's a nice clear bowl, good quality. Doesn't seem like it's gonna crack that easy. It is thick. Good little dish to eat out of. I might, I probably wanna replace it with something else once I find something that suits my needs. Why well, is that Is this supposed to come out? So yeah, that's good night in the cooking platform. Do I have oh I think I have to remove Do I have to remove those? There's a little whip thing. I think I just had it like twisted the wrong way. Make it a mess. Okay. So let's take a look at this real quick. That's a nice deep pot. And we have a one liter mark there. This is all attached into one. I wonder 
how this is going to go for cleaning though. So I wonder if this sheet's going to be a pain in the boat when I'm out there cleaning. Like if I'm cooking up a soup in here and not just boiling water. Maybe I should use a different pot. I don't know. But. Or just boil the can I guess. We have this little thing here. Okay let's look at the igniter. Here's our igniter. How do you work it? It's a real question. There's your regulator. And this snaps. It just sits right in there. Just snap in. Okay, there we go. Snap point. Okay, so that's all one piece. Throw your lid on there. You take your can, fuel canister. Just screw it on there. Not like it's gonna fall over at all. Once you get something in there, and get some weight going. Completely fine. Okay, I still gotta figure out. Okay, here's the igniter. The igniter is right here. And you just valve it up. I don't think there's any fuel in this. There's very little, but it ignited. If I can do it again for you guys real quick. I don't know if you guys can see or how. Yeah, there's barely any fuel in there. There's no fuel left. Um, but yeah, that's the fire meeple. You got your fixed star heating shield here, your mobile kitchen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you guys have picked it up yourself, I will leave a link down in the description at the top for you guys if you want to pick it up or just take a look at it, look at the reviews for yourself. It's a very cool kit, it's a fraction of the price of a jet boil. And honestly, it's just a really nice one too. I was expecting less quality, but it's really high quality and can't wait to actually test it out in the field. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And leave me some comments to read because I always like hearing from you guys.